Yo, what's up YouTube? KM888 here and today I'm going to go on on my recap and I'm gonna go over to day 2. Now the thing is, I'm starting at day 1 with my deck profile on the background and the thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna change it up with you guys just the way how I did it at the event itself. Um, I think it's important to see um, where I thought the problems were and what you should be doing and it's actually gonna be really easy so yeah first things first we're going to rename this deck Pendulum Day 2 because I used it as side events um, I participated in two and I do have to say my luck definitely continued from there on out um, but yeah so the first thing was the main deck of course um, there was only one thing that actually bothered me during the entire event and that was the fact that I was only playing one Allure of Darkness. Um, I actually would have liked two because the ratios would be better, it'd be better to draw uh, with the Servant, uh, stuff like that. And the only card that I haven't used besides the Allure of Darkness during the entire event day one uh, was the Dragon Color Magician. I didn't like it as much as I wanted it to. And I saw myself going into the purple poison like all the time. I had my dark worms, I had my shrine. Uh, with Electromite, I send it off um, off of there. And because of the fact that I went second so many times, I I don't think the Dragon Caller should be main deck. Like the the one situation where you don't see anything and you only have Dragon and you actually need Dragon Caller Magician to go for your Guard Dragon combo might not come up as much as you think and it might not be that important to actually run it. So I decided to cut it and to add a second Allure of Darkness. So that's exactly what I'm gonna do right here. Um, it is the way I liked it during the event and I have to say after that, uh, day two, I didn't have any situations whatsoever um, at day two with the main deck. I didn't brick anymore. Um, of course, like the only brick that I had during the entire event was drawing triple Dark Worm uh, with the Strudo and the and Shrine. But well, it's like one dead dead hand that will never come up again. Um, but with this, the main deck was already fixed, and I actually have to say that I liked it more afterwards. So I just got the Dragon Caller, put in a second Lore of Darkness. I think that's actually fine. Uh, and for the side deck, like, extra deck was perfect. I, I don't have anything to say about that. I liked it a lot. Uh, like, the, the rare situations where you need something else, I don't think it'll happen again. So, well, it probably will, but it's Pendulum. You you, you have 15 cards that you can choose, but you want 30. So that's, that's actually the thing. Um, for the side deck, I realized I wasn't that big prepared against orcists, uh, maybe thunder dragons, so I wanted to do something more and I noticed that during the main event I didn't draw into the cosmic cyclones at all, um, they weren't that important and I think that if I would have drawn them, evenly matched would have been better. Uh, the only problem was, at the event itself, I only brought two evenly matched with me, I didn't realize I didn't brought the third copy. Um, so the thing that I did for the event was I put in a third draw and lock. I do have to say that afterwards, like after the event for the build that I'm playing today, um, I'm playing three evenly. So I, I do think that's like way more important right now. And the, the way that I played the deck was like this. And I have to say it actually worked out uh, whenever I saw my side deck. So uh, going into the events, like um, I went into the, the smaller events uh, with eight player tournaments. So I might get an invite, I might get to a, uh, what's it called, like the the playoff for a uh, tournament, like the prize card, the Chaos Emperor Dragon. But um, like I already lost round two, like round one was against Salamangrate and I just OTK the same way I always do with the, <clears throat> what's it called, the Utopia package. And by making my combo it was actually pretty easy. Um, going against Salaman Great really isn't an issue anymore unless something wacky happens. But yeah, that's that'll always be it. Um, and then uh, round two was against Orcist. Um, he got to start his combo game one. Uh, he saw like the nuts. He opened nine gates, which was I, I didn't even knew that was possible. But he had nine gates. 
uh, or interruptions in general. So uh, I just scooped it up. Game two was for me. I just made my combo and I won. And then uh, round three, I sided in like the triple Lancia, triple Gnome Material, triple Draw and Lock, and two Evenly Matched because I know that if they don't have the Counter Trap, Evenly Matched is just such a blowout. Um, but I like how many cards there? That's like eleven cards. I I went second. I didn't see any of these. And like Evenly Matched would be even great to draw as a sixth card, but not even that was coming up. So. Yeah, again, like, Field, I think he had seven interruptions there, his hand was a little bit weaker, but in general, like, having 11 side cards, I didn't see any of it, uh, <laughs> yeah, th that mini tournament was over for me right there, uh, so yeah. Uh, then, uh, I went to participate in a 3 versus 3 tournament, uh, which was really fun, I have to say, like, I was sitting in the middle, I got to coach my friends, which was awesome. Um, I really loved it. We were working together like a real team. It was it was awesome. Like I was playing my pendulum uh, on the right to me. There was a girl playing Thunder Dragon, uh, a good friend of mine, and on the left was my teammate Aaron uh, playing his true Draco build. Uh, I was it was so cool to to be doing that. So uh, the three versus three tournament had four rounds. Um, in general, I won two out of four matches. Like the first one, I had to go up against Altergeist. Uh, that, was, that was fun for me because I sided out my Cosmic Cyclones for Evenlies, um, like, right before the the day two. And game one, he opens up, he, he won the die roll, uh, sets up uh, his monsters, his traps. I go play Spell Card, Imperial Order. So, yeah, that kind of sucked, Imperial Order. Uh, and he triggered Multifaker from that. Uh, he had spoofing, he had everything. Uh, the only thing was, like, if I had Evenly there already, it would have been game, because he played right into the Evenly. Um, I knew that for going uh, for my final game there, so I already knew that Evenly was going to be great. Uh, game 2, I made my board. Um, I put up, like, 6, 7 negates, which was crazy. Um, he couldn't do anything, so he scooped it up. And then uh, we went to game 3, he started off, and I started uh, with Evenly matched and 2 Denko Sekai, my opening hand. Um, it doesn't seem like the greatest that you have, but believe me, that's that's awesome. Like, um, game came to me. I actually activated my evenly match during the uh, battle phase. At the end of the battle phase, he had nothing to stop it. He played right into it again. Like he activated the spoofing uh, before the uh, like in the draw phase or in standby phase. Triggered multi faker off of it. Special summoned it. Just played right into the evenly, just as I predicted. Um, I blew him away, and he just. Uh, kept one back row, like one trap that I didn't know. And main phase two, I just summoned the Denko Seka. I thought, like, in Altergeist, only Meluseek is an out for Denko Seka as a normal summon. Um, yeah, like Silcatus, but then he has to bounce another Altergeist card, which he doesn't have at that point. Um, but I just normal summoned the, Deka, the Denko Seka in the hopes of that he couldn't get over it. Um, and in his turn, since he already set so many of his cards, he actually couldn't get over it and was complaining like, Oh my god, Dinko Sekai is so big. Uh, so I was just laughing because I had the second copy and I drew. I still didn't have my scales. Like, I, I only had one Pendulum Monster at that point, uh, which was a Dragon Pit Magician. Um, but yeah, my turn came, just summoned a second Denko, his face like, wow, how is this possible? And I just started attacking with like two Denko Sekas, and that was actually enough for, for making game. Like in my, in my turn after, I summoned another level 4, overlaid with one of the Denkos even to, for making Tornado Dragon. Um, I thought Tornado Dragon was more important because he started setting monsters, and when you start to set monsters, there's a high probability of having hand traps to set. Um, and I was actually right in that, like he said, an Ash Blossom, then there was a Ghost Ogre, so I was actually happy that I uh, played the Tornado Dragon, not the Dweller, because I couldn't get over his monsters else. But in general, like, the, the match was really awesome, he, he found it really, a really good game, even though it was like 20 minutes. But yeah, in general, really good match, I won uh, against Altergeist. Round 2, I had to go up against Cyber Dragons, I lost my die roll, but the guy let me go first, so there's always that. Um, I Once again, I didn't know what he was playing, could be anything. Uh, but game one, I just make my board. He has three hand traps, but I still go through it and make five negates, I think. Which was crazy. But having three hand traps means he only had three cards to start off with. So, yeah, it was really easy, actually. Um, I do have to say that, like, Special Summon Cyber Dragon, when you have Erratic... Uh, what's it called? Erratic Seal, the, the Link monster. It's, it's really fucked up, because... 
if you don't use Erratic Seal, he's going to link it off for a Chimera tech. So you lose the Erratic Seal and the ability to go into a slot. Um, but if you use the Erratic Seal, you can go into slot, but then they just special summon the Cyber Dragon again and they ram over the slot. Um, it is the option that I go for because they can't go into their um, extra deck before the battle phase, which is actually fine to do. Uh, but in general, I just hate Cyber Dragon against me, so yeah. Um, game 2, I also won pretty pretty swiftly. He let me go first again. It's Cyber Dragon, what can they do? Um, and I decided because it was Cyber Dragon that I had to build my board differently. So in the end, instead of going for the usual Guard Dragon combo, I actually uh, tributed my uh, Link Monster in the extra Monster Zone uh, for a second Jackal King, just so I have another Monster Negate. And... With the Heretic Seal that I tributed, I... Well, it's actually fun, like, if you, if you read this... If this card is tributed, special summon one Dragon Monster from your hand or deck. Like, you can do this in either player's turn. So, I tributed it for the Jackal King. This card triggers, summon the slot from my deck. So, I already had uh, four Negates, uh, two Jackal Kings. I had a... Um, I had a Time Star Magician to protect my slot, and then I had a, a Synchro 7, so it's actually pretty cool, like the Zeta. Um, but I had nothing in my extra monster zone, so yeah, against Cyber Dragon, that's most of the time in this game, so yeah. Um, and then the third and the fourth match, I had to go up against Orcist both times. Um, games just went like all the other ones against Orcus, like not even to laugh at. Like it's so stupid. Going second against the deck, I lost both with die rolls again. By the way, um, they just make their boards. They're huge. Like um, I've seen the video Triv Gaming posted. That Orcus player only had four negates, I think, four or five interruptions. That ain't even the maximum what they can do. That's not even their final form. Uh, I went up against uh, the Orcus board. He had um, a Cosmic Cyclone or an MST phase down, just like against mine, because they actually main deck things like that now. Um, then they had two Fog Blades. They had the Crescendo. Uh, they had the Orcus Babel, because of course they hard drew one of the two each time. So because of the Babel, they can go with the Skeleton Effect in the Grave uh, and use the Rusty and Dengirsu combos for two more interruptions. Then they had the Time Thief on the field. So yeah, stuff like that. And it's just so many negates. <laughs> That's it's just crazy. Um, if you go up against that and you're going second, you, your hand needs to be really good. So yeah. But like the best hand. And they have to misplay with one of their negates even. So yeah. Um, going second against that, you, you just lose game one, and that's terrible. And game two, you win, because they don't know what you're playing, and your combo just is just as strong as theirs. Um, and they can't stop you, because they side in Lancia, because they expect a mirror match or something. Um, and then game three comes, and I side in 11 cards, and I don't see anything. So that's basically how my matches have been going against Orcus and Thunder. Um, and that was actually the entire day two event, so... Yeah, I didn't do any more matches except some fun matches against uh, players here and there. Uh, but in general, it was really fun. Um, I lost one game against Salamangrate uh, against a guy there. Uh, was really, really strong player. Uh, game one, uh, he went first. I went to Topia, I broke his board open. Uh, game two... Uh, he went first again, but I couldn't go for the Utopia double, and his control was way too big. And then game three, I tried to bamboozle him and let him go first, um, which actually worked because he opened uh, five hand traps. He sided in so many that he saw like five, and he had to let me go first. But my opening hand was just the, the terrifying. It was so bad. I couldn't get through all of his hand traps, so I couldn't OTK. And as soon as I used Desires, I banished all but one level 4. So I couldn't go for Utopia double, uh, like the turn after. Uh, I banished uh, both my Pendulum Calls, but I kept the Alliance, which was, like, and I drew into the Alliance, stuff like that. And it was just awful. I couldn't go for my Guard Dragon combo anymore. I banished like everything that I needed. Um, but in general, like, the day was fun. Uh, I had a lot of experiences, and the deck ran a lot better. I just need to see my side more, and I think I'm, like, 
for afterwards. I was thinking, okay, I have to cut some hand traps down because you have to see these in your five cards, in your opening hand. But if you have other cards, like the evenly matched, you can actually draw it as a six card. So there's, or, or like with Allure, with Desires, with the Upstart, you can actually draw into them. And they will be the out that you need. Um, I've included some more cards, but that one you will see in my deck profile, which I'm going to do, um, I hope tomorrow, but I'm not sure if I get the time. Um, but it's gonna be up soon, so I hope you guys will like that, I hope you guys will like this, and I'll see you guys in the next video. So yeah, ciao.